Hi everyone, back for another one and in this video I wanted to talk about the uh, crazy stuff that's been happening with Veriscoin. Now, f I, I really like uh, SPCs, I like all different types of SPCs. If I showed you, which I might do in this video, showed you my desk, it's covered in SPCs. Um, single bar computers. This is the Orange Pi 5 Pro. Now. I've also got an orange I've got an orange Pi 5, an orange Pi 5 Plus, the orange Pi 5 Plus, and I also just bought the uh latest one which is the orange Pi 5 Pro, I think. Let me go on the website. These are fantastic SPCs to to own. So the new one is the orange Pi 5 Max. And the CPU that is on the Orange Pi 5 Pro, which is here, is the RK3588S, which is the smaller version of the RK3588. Now, with I saw some videos online uh, talking about various coin, and I read the white paper on this project and thought it'd be interesting just to test, just to see if uh, single board computers like the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, and, and others can mine various coin with and make a profit so I put three Raspberry Pis uh, two Orange Pis which is the Orange Pi 5 uh, Plus and the Orange Pi 5 original uh, which has the same chipset as the Orange Pi 5 Pro uh, and I put them all mining for a week now I've just switched them all off uh, and just left one running which is the Orange Pi 5 Plus now at one point this hash rate went up to 11 mega hash uh, I, the, because of the difficulty and the way the hash rate is sometimes uh, dished up it can it can go down so it's the lowest is 5 mega hash uh, average is 6.6 .6 mega hash uh, and this is it hashing away uh, and this is kind of what I've made uh, from from this so this is I think a week let me do um, so two pound fifty it's made so far in a week uh, and when I look at my kind of energy energy costs because these are running at such a low um, you know five watts sometimes up to about 15 watts when I take away that from from the from the various coin it's only costing me about 50p as uh, even less sometimes now what I've noticed with various coin is it's all about scale so if I go to various farm and uh, go to worker stats and I'm gonna pick some of these some of these workers this one here has 1.5 giga hash which is a lot uh, the rest are all on kind of mega hash they're not on giga hash and I'll go to the third one down so its efficiency is 98.17% that's a good efficiency and you can kind of see some of the workers that they've got now it's quite obvious that this one uh, this person here is running a lot of phones so we, that's going to be the Motorola GP uh, phone let's see what that is Motorola GP so it could be something like this uh, I would think that it'd be more something like this the Motorola G55 now there is some great videos on various coin and why it prefers using phones uh, I have got a couple of phones as well uh, that I've been mining various coin with the reason I prefer the SBC route is the SBC's come with active coolers uh, they can run at much for much longer without problems with batteries and things like that the only way that you can run phones uh, and mine various coin is if you use something like the cell hasher which is a, a device to basically rack all the phones into one uh, the creator is uh, this guy here uh, I, I don't know his name off the top of my head um, and this this box you can take the logic boards out the phones and this little box here is you can take the logic boards out the phones and basically rack them all up to create a ASIC miner from phones 
um, so it's quite obvious that a lot of these here will be doing that but the amount of phones that they've got so they've got say over 40 different phones mining away um, you can see they're getting an average of kind of three to four mega hash per phone but because the scale of this is so big the reward uh, level is going to be quite large so the look days is down to 27 uh, so that's you know to, to mine various that's really good um, but it's an interesting project it, it actually has been out for a long time uh, if I do coin market cap you can see that it's down slightly today but um, it has been really good for the past if I do one month one year you can see here it's really took off and it's now up to four dollars one um for which is really good the only problem with some of these projects is the exchanges that they're listed on uh, there's not as, as as many exchanges because it's an altcoin uh, but the the project is very interesting and it is profitable so i wanted to kind of raise your awareness of that um, what i'll do now is have a quick look at the sbc's that i've got uh, and how much in a week i can mine okay so this is the orange pi 5 plus this is the orange pi 5 pro that i'm going to set up once i've got a network cable and then i've got three raspberry pi 5s here as well so let's uh, plug these in and then I've also got another Orange Pi 5, so that's three Orange Pi 5s, three Raspberry Pis. Now, I already know that these Orange Pi 5s get much better hash rate than the Raspberry Pi 5s, uh, but I'm going to still um, turn them all on. And then I do. I have been testing with a lot of other SBCs, uh, some of the older ones like the uh, Raspberry Pi 4, the Atomic Pi, the Nano Pi. They they do have good chips in them, but the only problem is uh, they, because they're not actively cooled, they do get quite hot. Uh, it's, it's kind of a requirement that you do have some active cooling, where all of these have active cooling. Okay, so I'm just going to set that one up for now, uh, and then I'll come back and do the other ones. I am trying to look for something to uh, rack them all up in, that would be really good, if I could rack them all up into a single uh, case I have seen a few online uh, but it make it a lot neater and tidier if that's done so in my next video I am going to be delving into uh, a home lab setup I've got quite a few of these mini computers that are going to be uh, running in a Proxmox cluster I've actually changed around a lot of my rack so at the minute all of my virtualization uh, computers are all in here like the think servers uh, the asus server and it's this it, this rack here is going to be strictly for virtualization and then uh, most of my networking stuff uh, is all going to be in this rack here all of the networking stuff what is going to be here so they're going to be moved out uh, storage and unraid servers and things are going to be in the bottom and then some more um, networking at the top as well I've also decided to change this is this is my main router uh, which is running on OpenWRT it is a fantastic router I've talked about it in other videos but the energy that it costs to run this is probably more so I've decided to change my router as well uh, this is currently running OpenWRT it's a fantastic a 10 gig router I've really liked it but it does cost quite a lot to run because it technically is a power supply that is 250 watts uh, so what I've decided to do is actually switch um, and use OpenSense and use this here this is a 2.5 gig OpenSense box which is still relatively fast but it's only 12, uh, 12 volts and it sits on average at about 6 so it's a lot less power hungry than uh, than that router. So I'm going to be changing that later today, uh, and I'll kind of keep you updated on what I find with uh, OpenSense.
So we can see that there's actually quite a lot of videos on Veriscoin. Uh, the Bitcoin miner did a re did an insane project with it, where he actually made an entire server rack full of Orange Pi fives uh, just to mine Veriscoin. Uh, this was over a year ago, and there's there's other people that I've talked about the hash rate that you can get with the Orange Pi five. The RK three five eight eight S is a fast chip. It's one of the fastest on the market right now, uh, and various it, it works really well with various coin. The way that I set it up normally is by running uh, the CC miner, Oinx CC miner, rather the arm optimized version, or for making it slightly easier. There is also a quick installation, uh, and all you would really do is install something like Ambien. Uh, or if it's Raspberry Pi, uh, just use Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Uh, you just run a simple curl script, and then you, once once you've run the curl script and it's installed, you can SSH into your um, Orange Pi. So at the minute, the CPU temp is 63 degrees. That's still pretty good, considering that the load is at 100%. Um, so once you once you've basically installed it through the script. You will have a folder called CC Miner. You just CD into that folder and then LS again. Uh, and here you'll find a config.json. So you can do uh, nano and then config.json. And this is where you can put things like your uh, mining pool. I'm, mar I'm mining to a Verus farm. Uh, and then obviously your address with the dot and then the device so it's orange pi 5 plus or orange plus as I've got it uh, so I'll just X out of that and then to start the miner you would just go uh, dot slash and then run the script dot sh and that will start the miner so what I'm going to do now is get the raspberry pi 5s that I've got and I'm going to get them up and running again on various coin just to show you that process and uh, we'll monitor it within a week and see if it's if we've made some money uh, through all of the devices mining. So we'll do the same again. CD into uh, CC miner, and then dot slash, and then start dot sh. Now you can check um, the you can check the miner by using this here, uh, which is screen. So if you do screen like this. You can actually see the miner connecting to the uh, Verus farm, and then you can actually start to see it hashing here. So if we go to Verus farm, and then go back to back to me, and do a refresh. So yeah, there it's connecting there. So this will start to go up and it should hit about five or six mega hash uh, as well and then this as well you can do an overclock I don't think this pie is overclocked so you can do a slight overclock as well uh, to to make that hash rate just ever so slightly higher uh, but it's a great project and I wanted to share uh, share it with you guys and get everyone's comments and see what you think uh, see if you're mining various with your pie or just see what you're doing with your SPCs as well. Uh, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.